Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about some inventory reviews. So I'm going to be inventory reviewing a few people that have applied it in my Discord server. I'm probably going to do more of these videos in the future because I've done some in the past and people seem to like them and enjoy applying for them. So if you want to apply for one of these videos, make sure to join the Discord server in the description below. Before we get to the video though, let's take a quick look at swap.gg. Swap.gg also features PayPal deposits, which is a very good thing and also a rarity in the third-party marketplace area, so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, be sure to use the link in the description below. And with that, let's get started with this video. So the first person I have here for the inventory review is Zoba9k, so obviously a member of our Discord, and we're basically just going to go through a few of his skins, and then we're going to talk about his inventory as an investment specifically. So as you can see, he has stuff like Op Safari meshes, a couple of random skins. He has a Desert Eagle Blaze, which is a pretty good investment skin. He has Driver Gloves Lunar Weave and also a Butterfly Knife Knight which is a pretty cool combo. He has an AK-47 fuel injector with a couple of random stickers on it, looks like sort of a budget craft. He also has some AK Red Lanes on the second page, and an AK Asimov, so I think he was going to invest into the AK Red Lanes for sure. He also has an investments storage unit, which I will put up on screen in a second here, what's actually inside of it. He has, again, the red lines, which are pretty cool, kind of have some interesting stickers on them as well. He also has a couple random items from the Shadow Web Operation Collection and stuff that you get from the Battle Pass, basically, so like the Graffitis and the Agent, for example. He also has the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr in minimal wear condition. He has an Op Lightning Strike in Factory New Condition with a few stickers on it as well. And then he also has the USP Orion, which is another thing that I really do recommend quite a lot. He also has a few random team stickers and then some other Graffitis and some other Shadow Web stickers on this page as well, as well as a couple Agents. And then, of course, he has, like, some random stuff that you probably got from the battle pass as well and then he also has a simple crackout 2017 signature sticker obviously simple is a very popular player right now he also has a lot of other m4a4 skins asimov skins and uh, actually has quite a lot of play skins in his inventory there's not a whole lot dedicated towards investing in a lot of bulk of stuff it's just kind of like random one-offs which i thought was a little interesting in the way that he was doing it and then of course he has some stickers from different tournaments here as well he also has the Op Asimov to complete the Asimov collection, and the M4A4 Evil Daimyo, which I think is a pretty decent play skin as well. Probably not anything crazy, but it is going to be good for M4A4s in general. He also has a bunch of graffitis, which I thought was a little odd, considering he had a lot of graffitis for pretty much every team from Boston 2018, but doesn't actually have any stickers from them. So moving back through his inventory, he has the Op Lightning Strike and the USP Orion, which have both been doing pretty good over the past couple of months and were recommended by me. He also has the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr, which has also been doing pretty good after it's moved out of the Panic Seller's hands a little bit. And then of course he has some other team stickers here, like this little mid and the Team Liquid sticker, which are pretty good, of course, just even though they're papers, they're still pretty solid in terms of investment. He also has the AK Asimov, which I would say is probably way too new to be a good investment. A couple of red lines, which are pretty good, solid, it's kind of a solo profit in terms of how rare the Phoenix case is. The Butterfly Knife Knight, of course, is really good. The Butterfly Knives have been doing insane, especially the Knight being so popular has really been going up in price quite a lot. He actually has a lot of also Cato 15 souvenirs here, as you can see, and Cato 14 souvenirs, which I think is pretty interesting. A lot of people have been kind of into those recently, which I've noticed. And then, of course, he also has the Desert Eagle Blaze, which I think is another really good high point of his inventory. And, of course, those gloves to match the Butterfly Knife Knight. Can't really go wrong with that. So my rating for Zobo 9 k is going to be a 6 out of 10. I think that he has way too much money put into play skins, and he could definitely distribute that into other investments and probably buy a lot more stickers as well, because I think those stickers are going to make him a lot more money than, for example, the AK-47 Asimov. I understand that he's making an Asimov collection there, but it is, of course, just going to be play skins that aren't going to rise in value that much, so I think buying into other investments would probably be a smarter decision. He also doesn't really have multiples of investments, which means that he's not going to be able to take advantage of multiplication. So basically, if an item, for example, goes from 50 cents to a dollar that's going to multiply and that the more of those items you have the more money you're going to make overall so there's probably some stuff he could move around but hopefully he takes that advice and runs with it and then he also has a question for me that he wanted me to answer so his question for me was what should i get rid of i would personally say that your inventory does look pretty solid in terms of making a little bit of money on the side and probably having a few play skins to go along with as well especially that asimov collection which is always really cool to see people interested in that collection it's a really nice looking one but as for getting rid of some stuff i'd probably distribute around some of that stuff from the graffiti's of course into railer stickers and then i would also distribute some of the stuff 
from maybe a couple of those extra play skins like that M4A4 Evil Daimyo that you had and maybe try to distribute that into something that's probably going to be a little bit more value gaining just because you don't have a ton of, you know, actual investment into those multiplier items like capsules or whatever else it may be that you can make a lot more money off of in a short term. All right, guys, moving on to SN Skiller's inventory. So this inventory is probably going to look pretty similar at first glance to the previous inventory, but there's actually a pretty major difference here, and it's the fact that he's actually invested in a lot of super cool stickered items. So when I go back to the inventory, I'm going to show you in-games of these other stuff, like the Case Hardens, for example. But he does have a lot of really insane stuff, like this op red line with a Titan Hollow on scope. This is just super, super cool. Titan Hollows have been doing insane recently on the market, and they do sell like crazy. There's a huge amount of demand for them, and this is definitely a super super high tier op and a really really cool one at that. So he also has a Keramic Case Hardened, which again, I will put a, that up on screen in terms of his inspect link. He has a lot of other really cool stickered items here, like this Crowned Man of War, and then also that Stat Trek AK Redline has a Howling Dawn on it. So a lot of super cool items in terms of their stickers specifically, and I think that's what sets this inventory apart and makes it really unique, is the fact that he has a lot of investments into these stickers. He also has some Gamma Cases here and a couple other random skins. And then on this page, he has a bunch of his storage units, which we aren't going to be able to look into, unfortunately but they do appear to be a bunch of investments and stuff like that. Uh, maybe some cases, something like that. The cases themselves actually appear to have a decent amount of money put into investments specifically. I would assume it's a lot of cases, something along those lines. And then he also has a bunch of random play skins here. He has the Kramit Doppler, which I think is a really good option. Kramit Dopplers are a very popular knife right now, and as they are Kramits, they're probably going to also rise pretty steadily in price. And then again, he has a bunch of random play skins. He has that AK Case Hardened, which I'm going to show you in-game, of course, as well. And then he also has the M4A4 Asimov, and we can check out the patterns for those case hardened items like I said before. Now moving on to the bottom row of this page, he has like this Stat Trek USP Cyrix, which I think is actually a really cool looking one and has some interesting stickers on it as well. But moving on to these souvenir items, one pretty interesting thing here is he actually has Dreamhack souvenir items, which are very interestingly enough rare. So you don't really see a lot of these in terms of their souvenir condition. It's just not something that comes around a whole lot. Also some other pretty rare souvenirs here with those cologne ones. He also has that I Buy Power cologne souvenir, which is a pretty rare one. Don't see that one often at all. He also has these Kata 14 souvenirs, which are also pretty cool. We saw some of those in the last inventory as well. He has some nice gloves here, the Lunar Weaves again. Pretty popular choice, I guess, for a low-tier glove. And then again, a bunch of play skins, a bunch of random ones. Maybe they were case of boxing, who knows? And then he has a super cool M4A1S Hot Rod here with four of those ESL Cologne 2015 reds on them, which I think are a super, super cool item. The Hot Rod's a really cool one here with those four ESL Colognes. Just a really cool item in general. I'm a really big fan of the Hot Rod and also the craft that he has on it itself. And then as for the other stuff on here, just a bunch of other random souvenirs and random play skins. He also has a P250 X-Ray, which as we know is not a good investment as it's available in the in-game store but, you know, maybe he bought that as a regular play skin. He also has the USP Orion, and like we said with the previous inventory, it has been making some money here. He also has the MP9 Hot Rod, which I think is a pretty nice old one to check out sometime if you are interested in stuff like that. He also has the MAC-10 Indigo Souvenir, which happens to be a Cato 15. Seems to be a pretty popular one for the MAC-10 Indigo to be Cato 15. And then he also has a bunch of other random play skins here, but specifically I wanted to point out the Galil Cerberus, which he may have bought as a regular play skin, but it's actually a pretty decent investment opportunity. It may be a decent call if they are going to ever get that cash rework implemented correctly. He also has some other stuff like that 5.7 case hardened and some other random play skins. And then on this page, he has a bunch of random graffitis and just random skins in general. Nothing too crazy here at all. So let's go back to his inventory here and talk about some stuff as an investment potential. So again, a bunch of random play skins. This inventory has a ton of random play skins in it or random case unboxings, who really knows? But it does have some other pretty interesting highlights like the Cerberus, like I mentioned, and then also, of course, the Orion, which I think is a really solid option for investing. Also has that Hot Rod, which is getting rarer by the day. Pretty interesting chop shop choice, but I do think the Icarus Bell is a better option. I still think his is really cool, especially with that sticker craft. And then he has some of those Keta 14 souvenirs, which again are pretty rare and seem to be a pretty popular choice right now for one reason or another. And then again, some more play skins, some other random pretty cool souvenir items like those cologne souvenir items. And then again, he also has those gloves. And then of course, he has his AK Case Hardened, which we'll take a look at in game. Looks pretty interesting. I think the AK Case Hardened is doing really well as well. He also has that Karambit Doppler, a really good option for the Karambits in terms of making money. It's just going to be a pretty solid one just because the Doppler is so popular. He also has the Howling Dawn AK Redline and a lot of other really cool sacred items here like the crowned mana war and of course the titan hollow red line which i just think is a bunch of interesting stickered items and a really cool little package of items to have definitely very good if you're looking at investing in stickers and of course he has this really cool 5.7 case hardened that is also a titan non-hollow on it 
which I just think is an absolutely incredible choice. These are just some really cool Kato items, and definitely that red line specifically, like the Titan Hollow is just so popular right now. Definitely one of the most desirable ones for Kato 14 stickers. A lot of super cool items for sure, especially that Titan Hollow red line is a really, really cool one. And then of course that Eagle Blaze, like I said, again, another really good option has been doing really well recently as well. He has a lot of really cool Case Hearted items as well, especially that Karambit and those five sevens. And I think that's also a pretty good high point of the inventory. Obviously Case Hardens are pretty crazy in their prices, but they seem to have a pretty good coherent one overall. Overall, I would give this inventory a solid 9 out of 10. It's a really good example of how to invest into rare stickers, and especially putting a lot of money into those rare stickers because that red line definitely was not cheap. SN Skiller's question to me was if I had any recommendations for a red or blue type kind of loadout in terms of the sticker combos or the items themselves. I would definitely say check out the M4A1S Masterpiece. It's a blue skin and also has a little bit of red on it, so it kind of matches both of those, and I am sure you'll be able to find some Caddo Crafts on it. It does happen to be a pretty popular Caddo item. One recommendation I would maybe make if if you want to check out some really cool stickered items is maybe a Vulcan with like an eye by power on it, maybe not a hollow or maybe the hollow depending on how much you're willing to spend on it. I think the Vulcan is going to be a really cool match to the red line because the red line is a red base skin with a blue sticker and then the Vulcan is a blue base skin with a red sticker so I think it would really match the dynamic. So maybe go ahead and check some of those out if you are interested and you could probably get one for pretty high price to be honest but probably not anything too insane. So hopefully that answered your question. Let's move on to the final inventory for this video. I'd like to review more than three inventories but I already think three is too much for this video based on the runtime, so I will maybe make a part two of this video. That's usually what I do to review more inventories, so we'll see what happens, and I'll get back to you on that. All right, guys, moving on to the third and final inventory here. This guy's name is Jobby. As you can see, he has a lot of very traditional investment opportunities, for example, the Danger Zone case and the Gold Web Foils. These are both pretty popular right now, especially the Gold Web Foils, and they're very popular consumables, consumables obviously being items that you can get rid of. And he also has the USB Neo Noir and Technon Decimator, which is also pretty commonly seen in inventories like this because it's a couple of little play skins that they randomly have. Now he also has a big stock of Shatterbug cases, which I did want to talk about for a second. These have been going up and down like crazy over the past week. They've been dropping after people have sold off their investment potential and got profit off of the investments. And they've also been rising a lot because of a lot of hype behind them. And I do think they're very unstable right now, something that you should probably not invest in unless you're buying at a valley and not a peak. He also has an Augmentite Lily and a little Sugar Rush, and also a UMP Daylily, so he does have a few Shattered Web Operation skin investments, which I think are pretty solid, and then he also has the Galil Sugar Rush, which is a pretty good Hydra investment, probably a pretty popular Galil in terms of Galils as a whole. He also has a bunch of play skins on this page, for example, the Avnio Noir and the AK Neon Rider. Again, pretty common to see in inventories like this, because they tend to be able to sell off their investments and buy play skins that they want. He also has a P90 Emerald Dragon, which of course trades up to the Fire Serpent, and is one of the more popular ones to trade up to the Fire Serpent, so a pretty good investment opportunity there. He also has the Mac Tendisco Tech, which obviously another play skin. And then he actually has some pretty cool agents here that have the Crown and also the Howl on them, so I think that's actually a pretty interesting agent spread. I kind of like the way that he designed them, and I think it's pretty personalized. He also has the Desert Eagle Emerald Drummondgunder, another popular investment, and then he also has the Kramit Fade. Other than that, it's a bunch of random graffitis, and then let's get into talking about the investments. So for starters, obviously, he has the Desert Eagle Emerald Drummondgunder. Obviously, again, another thing that's going to be a pretty solid investment after it changes hands from Panic Sellers. He has that P90 Emerald Dragon, which I'm actually really impressed about. I do think that's a really good opportunity for investing just because of how the Fire Serpent is doing right now. It's been rising very rapidly over the past month or so. And then the Emerald Dragon specifically, of course, a really good one. That Kramit Fade, I do want to say that I do personally own a Kramit Fade, and so just to keep that in mind, if you want to take into account any buy as I might have, but the Kermit Fade's actually been doing incredible recently. It's been rising very rapidly. It's all the way up to about $1,000, and about a couple months ago, it was actually at around $850, so it's been doing very well on the Steam market at least. He also has the Augmented Lily in Factory New Condition, another skin that I think is really good, one of the big three that I mentioned in my earlier videos. He also has a UMP Daylily, which I think is a good option because, again, it's a trade-up material for stuff like the Augmented Lily, so I think it's pretty solid choices here for the Shadow Web Operation skins. He also has the Glitter Sugar Rush, again, another Hydra option, which is really solid. And then he has a bunch of those cases and other consumables like the Gold Web Foils and also the Danger Zone cases. He also has a couple play skins, which is good as well. I would say this inventory demonstrates a really good spread of investments and also play skins. So he has a few pretty cool play skins here that he may or may not have bought with investment profits. And then he also has a very large amount of actual investments. And he actually also has an investment knife, which I think is a really solid option. Kermit fades are obviously very old, very desirable, and also one of those OG knives that a lot of people like. So I would really rate this inventory really high. I'd give it at least a 9 out of 10, just because I think that there could be a little bit more play skin distribution into actual investments. But I think it's a really good spread 
of the two, and it shows off what you can do with your investments really, really well. So yeah, he doesn't have the most insane inventory, but I would definitely rate it pretty high. It's a pretty solid one here for sure. Now, as for his question for me, he's wondering what gloves I would recommend for him in order to fit the loadout. So the loadout, obviously, that he's going for is that kind of neo-noir sort of-esque loadout, that kind of like vaporwave type loadout. I've seen that quite a lot, and I think it's a pretty cool loadout to go with. So if you were using something like a bayonet Doppler, I would probably recommend a different pair of gloves, but because you're using a Kramit Fade as your play knife, I would say that the best knife you could possibly get for a loadout like this is going to be Vice Gloves. So Vice Gloves, obviously, a very expensive one and a very high tier one for sure. If you want something more cheap, I would go with Imperial Plaids. That's probably the closest you're going to get to a good pair of gloves for this loadout that's not as expensive as Vice Gloves. But if you can afford them, they're really sick and it would match very well with both your Karambit and also the rest of your skins. Normally, I would buy actually Vice Gloves as well, but I'm actually interested in a different type of gloves, so that's kind of why I don't have them for my Karambit Fade. But I would say that for you, you'd probably be able to get a pretty good deal on Vice Gloves in this kind of market, and it'd also be a really good setup for your knife. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you here too long. That's the final inventory for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I know this was a bit of a longer video. I wanted to make sure I at least got three inventories in and gave my opinions and thoughts about them and also made sure I answered the questions. So that's why the video had a longer runtime. Anyway, again, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this in the future. If you're interested in participating in a video like this in the future, be sure to join my Discord or check me out on the other social links in the description below. Those are going to be able to connect you with me and get you a good shot at getting an inventory review if you want to have one. Now, also, I wanted to say that if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like it to let me know that you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this in the future. That does help me with the YouTube algorithm as well. Also, make sure to check out swap.gg if you want to buy any of the skins you've seen in this video. You're going to have a pretty good chance of at least finding them on their trade bot. So if you do make sure that you check them out, the link is in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I will see you all next time. Peace.